Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the EJ and Dave podcast. You all right, love? I'm all right. How are you? I am doing good, thank you. Today, uh, obviously, it's a podcast. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, how have you been this week? You all right? Oh, I'm all right, thank you. Yeah, not a bad week. Yeah, good. You've um, what have you done this week, Dave? Nothing exciting. Nothing. Wow. Wow. I find that greatly insulting. What? Well, you edited the podcast at the uh, build off. Yeah. Yeah, and you don't think build off is exciting? Well, it depends who wins. Fair enough. Can't argue with that one. Fair enough. Yeah, uh, Dave's back to editing build off at the minute. I meant to ask you actually. Um, how how did it go? Did it go all right? Well, build off. Yeah, like editing yeah. and that. Oh yeah, it's a piece of it's easy. I was gonna say something yeah. else then. I it don't take long. I mean I meant um, the up- uploading and that. Uh I was busy when I was doing it, so I think it took around two hours. Oh god, that's good. That's better than it used to be, isn't it? it used to be like no, that's four about hours. normal for podcasts. Build off a bit um build off about two hours, lovely world's about four. Ah oh, lovely world done, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, here's the here's the million dollar question. You probably saw this coming off a mile off, coming off a mile off, coming a mile off. Do you think you're ready to take on Lovely World again, or am I going to have to do it again still for a bit? Uh, you can be bastard and say you can do it permanently. So I do prefer build off, but yeah, I don't mind doing it. Okay, right. I'll send you. I'll be nice and I'll send you the next bills. I won't send you the tournament for Plunge Plunge, because um, <laughs> the video's in two parts. That's why I haven't edited it because I've been dreading it that much. But um, no, yeah, you can send it to me. I don't mind. Oh well, it's a big file as well. How big? I don't know. It's on my PC. You- you don't need to sleep because I'm in peaceful. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, oh. well, you know, I'm doing it for the air. Uh, to light anyway, but you know. Um. Yeah, it's like it's a big file. I'll just uh, I'll send you the um. Do you remember we revamped that old building? What old building? We did the hotel and then we did something else. Oh, fuck. We did the hotel ages ago. I can't bloody remember what we did after that. Um, well, we did... Send me that one and I'll do that one. You do the tournament. Okay, yeah. And then I'll just... Because what I was going to do, I was going to be nice and I was going to say, I'll just upload everything off my laptop onto YouTube and just say, right, just do it whenever you can. But seeing as you're doing that, I might as well edit the stuff on my laptop and then we've actually got like a a proper catalogue, if you like. Yeah, because we've got, I was going to say, I'd rather have a, back, a um, backup. Yeah. Because if my net goes again, it's not so pressured. Yeah. Well, um, like last have... time, it was pretty, it was, it didn't take long to like get itself back up and running in sort of like a couple of weeks, didn't it? Yeah, it kind of came back to normal when you buggered off on holiday. Yeah, which was, um, (laughs) it's quite handy because we, uh, we had like, it, we, we nearly had enough like stockpiled. So if if you're like, I'm not not trying to say like work hard, you know, do you get what I mean? But like, if, if like, we, we keep editing and like as much as we can or much as you can until like, it goes up again, then hopefully we might have enough, you know, until yeah. it fixes itself. Do you get where I'm coming from? Yeah. 
yeah. So we can have enough uh, backlogged. But yeah, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll send you that one. It's the one where there's one episode destroying it, and then there's another episode building it, and then that's it. Because it's only, it's only a small one by the house. The, um, yeah, no worries. Yeah. And then, um, and then, yeah. Just Life would be easy if I could this. upload them overnight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I didn't give it to my sister, I would have offered to uh, give you my old iPad, but I've given it to my sister because it's just uh, it's yeah, it's right. just a, it's a Samsung thing, so. Yeah, I, I regret going for Kindle. I should have gone for um, an Android yeah. derived one. Yeah. To be fair, I probably have got an old one I can dig out for you if you want. Yeah, the trouble is I've got, I've got old ones and they don't support the latest security thing, so I can't do anything with them. Oh. Uh, so I've, so I've got an old iPad. Yeah. And I can't do anything with it on Google. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Uh, I can, I'll have a dig around, and I'll you know yeah. see what see what I can do. Because that'd be better if you could just like say edit three lovely worlds during the day. I know it's a lot, but go with me here. Say edit three lovely worlds during the day, and then you could be like go off to bed, and then just leave it like going over nice. I'd rather that'd do be, that. like perfection. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather edit during the day, or do as much as I can during the day, than just sort of like upload them over a period of a couple of nights. Yeah. And then just like charge it as well during the day, and then. Yeah. 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 You're not about about I tend to try and do, and if I've got any jobs to do at home, I'll try and do them in the morning. Yeah. So I can upload the during way. the day, during the morning, that's fine. Yeah. But it would be nice if I could have some done overnight. Yeah. So I can say I played the large files jobs. overnight, and then the smaller ones. Like Lovely World upload during the night, and then... Well, some of the Lovely Worlds are quite small. Yeah. But things like tournaments, they can... It's difficult to cut them to shreds if you see what I mean. Yeah. I mean, if you did... Just... Say you did... I know you said you don't want to, right? Which is why I'm saying hypothetically. But hypothetically, you did uh, started doing trimmed outs. You could edit them during... You know, and then leave them going during the night as well. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, and that... All that is nice and fine in an ideal world. But the problem I've got is... It's the hardware. Yeah, we just can't do it yeah. overnight. Yeah. Well, I'll, uh, like I said, I think I've got an old iPad. But I'm just not sure how well it works. Yeah, it's yeah, difficult. Because even if you do send it, there's no guarantee it's going to arrive in one piece. Yeah, yeah, true. So I'd be... I mean, I've sent like, to do like, that. stuff over... Uh, mail before and it's uh yeah. i've always packed it well enough so why don't you why don't you use your laptop and then because you don't need to charge like keep the plugs on do you overnight for that i've got two laptops one which i use which i will not leave on overnight yeah and I've got a spare one, but the battery will not last all night. Ah. Uh, and I don't normally plug in, because obviously I'm not getting paid. And it costs money. Yeah. I mean, I'm close enough to getting paid, but, uh, like, from YouTube. Like, it's 500 subscribers now. They uh, lowered I it. it was I thought it was 1,000. You have to go somewhere like that. Yeah, no, they, they lowered it. And you can either get 4,000 hours of watch time in a month, or you can get, um, 
or you can upload like 30 shorts in 90 days. Oh, so God, I, I get to 500 so, so when I get to 500 subscribers, I'm just going to like sp like upload a short every day. Mm. But we may have a bit of good news next month. Next month? Or, Why? Or this month. Because... I had an idea, but I'm not sure how it's going to work, if it's going to work. Carry on talking, I've just got to look for something. Okay. Um, but yeah, I was looking at like... Oh, well, I was talking, just talking to one of my friends. And he said, oh, mm -hmm. my dad does YouTube and he gets 5p a week. I was like, oh, really? How many subscribers has he got? He's got like 2,000 subscribers. And he gets like 900 views a video, so and that's like 5p, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm well, uh, I'd have, definitely not going to get much, but go on, what's your thought? I had a thing from my supplier, phone supplier, saying, yeah. great news, we knew your big bundle on the 14th of um, June, and yeah. we'll add an extra 50 gig of data. Then we knew your bundle on time each month to get extra data with the following two renewals. Oh. So I don't know... So I don't know whether it's just 50 gig the first time and it's just whatever the next two times, whether it's 50 gig for the next couple of months. Yeah. So, in theory, because the files are normally around about, it's not often now a gig in size. So yeah. I could, in theory, upload via my phone if I've got space on it. Could do, yeah. But that's always, like, risky just in case you, like, use up all your data. Well, but yeah, I don't use up all my data idea. as it is. You are? I don't use all my data as it is because I tend to keep it on Wi-Fi. Ah, all right. The only time I start digging into my data is when my net goes slow, but that's still fairly... I only use that for barely, things like barely. doing Tesco's and paying bills. Yeah. And I get restricted in what I am. Um, I only load, upload the apps I use all the time. And yeah. the rest I wait until my internet kicks back in. Yeah. Well, like Discord and that, say, like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, that, that's, that's, that's always, you know, that's handy then. That's always another option. Yeah. It's, ni it's nice now that we've got options. We're there, obviously, until now, we, we, uh, the only real option was, you know, do it during the day. Or do it during the night where, you know, cost of fortune. Obviously, you don't really want to cost it a fortune. And neither do I, because uh, you, you annoy me, but, you know, I'm not that horrible. And I had uh, a message from Mr. Callum. All right, Callum Bo. Mr. Yeah, Keep Fit, who's doing his Keep Fit routine as we're talking. Go Callum, he's, go Callum. <laughs> he's cancelled his 10 year anniversary yeah, thing, he just wanted to let you know and say thanks for helping. Okay. Because he's just like in a bit in the motivation department. Yeah. I, I said to him an idea, would that be to record his 10th anniversary, like, when it's 10 years later because it's not the fact that his motivation will be higher it probably would be for like to record one video looking back and going back and you know looking around and seeing everything that's changed but also like um it, it would make it special, like more special. Yeah. 
like if he's recording it and he's uh like he was gonna do and just like gonna record it now and then wait you know it's it it's it's still cool and it's still gonna be cool when it goes out but at the same time like it's not it's not gonna be as special for him mm. and obviously this things like that is I always prioritize it's gonna sound selfish but like with with that kind of stuff I always prioritize me <laughs> in terms of like if I record like, what would I rather like record this now or save it till later yeah just because it, you know if it feels better to record it now you know get it out of the way or save it until like so it is actually a special occasion recording the video yeah I don't know, that's just my thought process. That's what I that's what I was doing during the fifth anniversary. I like waited until the um I waited until the actual like time to do it rather than doing it while like <clears throat> when I have my three sixty already like set up, I actually reset it up for the anniversary and then I just left it set up for the uh, thingy. <clears throat> but I also like I I I don't go back. See, the thing is with farewell, right? It's uh, it feels quite weird now that I don't play them versions, and there's occasions where I'll load up and I'll have a look around, but I try yeah. and stop myself from playing those versions, not like to <laughs> be horrible to myself. Oh, no, those versions are really bad. No, they're the best versions of the game, but the same time, like. The um, farewell wouldn't feel as special, and like yeah. it would negate the point if I was to go. Okay, well that's you know this is, we're saying farewell to this version. Anyway, let's load up and play some battle mode for a bit. You know, like do you get what I mean? It negates the point. Mm. Um, but yeah, obviously <laughs> I can't even record with my 360 anymore just because it's it's in the loft now. But I yeah. Which is quite sad. Yeah, we're putting that in the weekend, it. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh! So, I have uh, been put in charge of documenting and recording a festival which my school is putting on to celebrate the end of the year. Um, Like, officially, I just emailed like the head teacher and I said oh, I'm, I'm looking I'm hopefully when I leave school looking for a, like a career in like media or editing or yeah. you know like cinematography or anything like that God, have, you that any, opportunity. have you got anything you know that I could do obviously for free yeah. but just to just to get my uh, foot in the door and um they were like, hey, yeah, we, we'll, uh, we'll figure something for you to do. And they came up with the idea for me to go around, like, the end of the year, like, they call it Whitby Fest. And um, it's like, they set up, like, stalls and, like, games and that. It's basically like a summer fair. And, um, mm. yeah, it's going to be my job going around interviewing students and, like, getting drone footage. Oh, what? my good God. Yeah, and uh, that's the one I'm like. There's a 360 camera, which I don't mind because you know I know how to operate a camera. But then there's a drone. Never used <laughs> there's, there's drone footage, which um, yeah. I mean, I I I'm torn on that one because at the same like uh, on one time like my first real life shoot. You may have seen my Let's Talk, whatever it was, the other day. I spent most of it up a ladder. <laughs> so I should be all right with the general filming of it. It's just the drone that I'm a little bit, you know... Have you got one, Have you got a friend who's got one or a family member? Well, my dad has one. He got one for me and then it's like... We used it for a bit and then just stopped using it, so... I'm going to see if it still works. I'm going to, like, try and get some practice with it. That's what I was going to say. 
yeah. So maybe, uh, maybe you uh, might see some drone practice footage popping up somewhere. If it's uh, if it's got a camera or if it's working. Or, uh... Yeah. But yeah, that that's uh, that should be fun because it's like setting up and like operating microphones and I get to like edit the footage as well. Yeah, you should like... be doing something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's quite cool. Like I'd rather be doing that than the actual. Than actually wandering around in the actual thing, because I feel like I'm, you know, being productive. So but when like also, when do you do that then? Oh, that'd be like next month. But um, yeah, um, like stuff like that, like real life type stuff. I prefer editing that over like Minecraft and like Lovely World because. Uh, like lovely worlds, you see, like you're missing a beat on this one. Why? I know what you mean by editing real life stuff, but doing smart YouTube stuff is good experience and good practice. Yeah, no, I know. When you start I, doing I, that real I, life. I've, I've uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not planning on like stopping lovely world or like anything like that. But like, I'm. What I'm saying is like, I'd, pr I'd prefer. I prefer editing stuff like that and like even when like that thing the other day that I sent you the trailer. Yeah. I that is my favourite thing that I've edited in ages. Simply because it no, was. No, it was good. I'm looking forward to seeing the completed version. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the other people to uh send me their videos, yeah. which they haven't done yet. But um I'll I'll give them until but, uh, I'll, I'll admit it. I'll, when I was watching, I was thinking, if that bastard thinks I'm going to be doing this, he can forget it because I'm not. No, absolutely not. I am. Uh... No, I I loved editing that one just because I. Uh... And also, that, I mean, like... actually putting, taking part in and putting my footage in there. Oh no, no, no! It's. Uh... I know what you're like. It's, it's some someone else actually made the group and then yeah. they left. So... <laughs> So uh, you're, like, you, you shot, you're sending it, and I was like, oh yeah, that's really, really good. I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like completed. It's so much yeah. good, you can do your creative now, and you're winning. Hey. Get, your, get your face cam up and running. Yeah. You know what Ryan said to me the other day? What this he here's say? a really random thing. <laughs> he said, you know what, I'd love, to, I'd love to know what Dave looks like. So... You know what I said to him? What? I said, well, if you come on the podcast, they will show you his face. He rhymes, I don't have a webcam. Uh, well, you got a phone. You take a selfie. No chance. Go on, Dave. <laughs> I hate being in front of the camera and I hate having my photo taken. So, well, yeah, but if you do like a uh, a selfie. Yeah, I won't. Did he. Um, you, you can play who's going to come on like one week. No, he, he just laughed and said, okay. I don't think he will now because I've got his hope suffered. <laughs> I uh, I actually can see you right now. I'll be impressed if you can. Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, probably in game, but not in real life. No, no, you've just snouted at me. Right. Oh, give me a sec. I've, uh, I'm going to. I'm gonna. Oh. Where? Where? where are... Are you in spectator mode? Where are you? Where are you? Where did you go? Well, yeah. I've been in the same place I've been all week. Did you just punch me? No. No, oh, I just took damage. I thought you were punching me, and then I was like, <laughs> you just weren't there. I, I like, don't oh. even know where you are. No. 
I was like, oh, I must have a bit. I was quite surprised. And then I turned around and you just weren't there. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, I just want to say, let me collect all this dirt. Then I'm going to just go off just for a second. Um, so do you want to give everyone a base tour? We do the air. No, I can't. Oh, why? Because I'm busy helping your friend. Oh, okay, all right. Well, do you, I'll tell you what. I'm partaking in free. Ryan's nightmare. Yeah, Ryan's nightmare. Do you want to, uh... All right, well, give us give us a talk through what you're doing. Then. Just to, or at least, or talk about something, at least. Just That's going to take about up. 30 seconds. I'm mining out a very, very large area for Ryan's base. Well, I'll done. talk about something else, then. Oh, I hate it when you disappear. I've only been gone like two minutes. Go on. It's just, yeah. Make it run and. See, you got the gift of the cab, I don't. Have you gone? So, what I'm doing is my own is building a very impressive base on the realm. And I'm giving, giving a hand. Mine out a very, very, very large area. And if I need to start it this week, and it's going to take ages to complete. Because it's huge. But I should get paid a fortune when it's done. Although now I do not know what else to say. I know EJ, he's sitting there laughing his head off, listening to me struggle. You know me too well. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can take back over now. I'm not finished. <laughs> I just made you finish. <laughs> yeah, you always do. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. So, sorry, just give me a second. I'm half, con I'm half concentrating on one thing and half concentrating on talking. Keep talking. I'm, I'm concentrating on something else. I, I've said what I wanted to say. I'm oh, bugger. Well, want to say more. No, no, it's not. I don't know what else to say. Okay, right, I'm back. Okay. Thank God for that. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I was... <laughs> I was checking to see whether your birthday was this, like, today or next month. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just, I looked at the date and I remember, I was like, oh, God, oh, yeah, wait, is it, it's not today, is it? And I, so I went back and checked the known. Yeah, so happy birthday for next month. But uh, yeah. Anyway, what was I gonna say? What were we, what were we talking about, Dave? I can't remember now. That interest was it? That interesting was it? Yeah. Have you seen the new dogs? What new dogs? The new dogs. What in Minecraft? Yeah. No, no, the new spawn in real life. Yeah, I've got a couple on here. I was on Callum's Rail Monday, and within about five minutes, I I got two on there, two or three on there. Well, I I saw them. I think it was in Bloodstorm. No, it was in Callum's World. And I um. I saw them and I thought they were add-ons, so I said, oh, I didn't know you had add-ons in it. And we were talking about the add-ons and I said, oh, I really like the ones with the um, 
the dogs. No, then a new one. Was like, and he was like, what? And he was a bit confused. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I remembered, and then I remembered that uh, they had had a new dog. So I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I forgot about that. Because I just saw them, and I was, yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah? Talk! You're meant to be talking. It's a podcast, you know. <laughs> I never know what to say. Tell them what you talk? had for dinner. I haven't had it yet. Yesterday, you dingbat. I can't bloody remember. It wasn't that exciting. I'm sure people don't really know what I've been eating. I'm just putting all my mining into chest so I'm complaining. You are. What did you say? I'm just throwing out all my blocks up in mining so Ryan can work out what he's paying me. Okay. That I, yeah, you've done a lot. Right, I'm going to position myself here and I'm going to eat me dinner. So at least then everyone can watch. But I'll still carry on talking. Oh, we've so got fit dinner. We've got pizza. Mm. So Dave, tell us about mm. the editing process. What for? Start with Lovely World. Oh, God, that's the worst one to play that. I'd throw a quick watch through and then decide what bits I'm going to keep in and what bits I'm going to cut and just go through that and cut it. Because some episodes you can lose are quite easy to make cuts. But there's others that are uh, things like when you do redstone, I like to try and keep some of that in. So if people want to replicate it, they can. So, I can, so those episodes are quite long. Then when you've got tournaments, it's difficult to cut those down because you want to get all the people's goes in if you can. But normally if it's just a building episode, it's not... On the whole, they're not too bad. I tend to cut things like the um, bit of the Star Wars cut where we're just travelling to the build. I cut them down because they're not that interesting. And if I can do speed sped up things, I'll do that. But they are various. I do quite enjoy doing them. And then when it comes to doing build off, that's just much much easier so bear with me i do i'll speed up my footage and the worst part of doing that is doing the recording the audio for it i just find it so unnatural and so difficult and then once the child has sent me his footage i'll do that i'll speed up his footage then I, once I've done now, I'll um, just cut it all together and it's, uh, it takes about 20 minutes, half hour. And then it's just a case of uploading it. Because I've got the intro saved because I stay the same all the time. I then just go in with the free TJ sends because he's all the master footage. I'll edit. I'll include the bit where we announce who won. And then we go to what we're building, and then I'll put in my POV and EJ's POV. Then at the end, it's just us discussing what our builds on, or what we thought of them, what we inspired us to do them. 
So that's about the process for those. And I use um, Photoshop Elements, an old copy of that I bought, which is quite user friendly and quite easy. But I do want to try and use some more so I can do more adventurous things with the editing. Because I'd like to try and make, make it better if I can. But we have to see how that goes. Thank you, Dave. Next question. On the channel at the minute, there is three series, four series, right? There's Lovely World and Build Off, which you edit. And there is Ethan, the Ethan series with the mini games, And there is Farewell. Out of the two of them and why, which one of them would you prefer to edit or which one of them would you like to edit most um neither if that's what you're aiming for but if i had to choose it'd probably be e fun no no i mean like i'm not asking you to do them i'm just like yeah i said probably be e fun what why is that then well to be fair pharaoh's your baby with your dad and I don't think that would be something you'd want to give up. Because you'd probably have a lot of fun editing them. And they'd probably I'm be, gonna be honest. things in. I'm going to be honest, I, I don't. <laughs> yeah, probably specific things in you want to keep in. Whereas these one, they're quite easy to edit. They're not very long. And it's normally just one or two games you play with a certain person. One of your helpers or someone. So then they're easier. Mm. And then not as frequent as what um, Farrell is. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get them up to weekly, but you know, I'm just a bit useless. Well, I'm not going to make him respond to that. Got it. Okay. Next question. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be horrible here. Out of all of the people that you help record, which of them is your favourite and why? I help people out because I, I like them and I have fun. And I'll happily do so. There's not one specific person I have as a favourite, but those I help out because I do like them. If I didn't like them, I wouldn't help them. So I enjoy doing Foxy's. Waiting for on Saturday, that's something I look forward to. It is chaos and it is good fun. And that's the way I approach it. I'm not bothered whether I win or lose. I just do it for a crack and it, for a laugh and it just gives you time, something to do. And the same night, help out yourself, Mr. Storm and Mr. Keep Fit. I do because it's a laugh and I, I like to support and help people. Right. Okay. Because. You know who I have the on, most laughs helping? I haven't in. finished yet. Oh, Shut up. All right. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you see, I'm talking now because when I was young, I wasn't exactly giving much support or encouragement. So I do like to try and do that. Try others because I just think it's fair and it's a decent thing to do. Yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. And the off-camera answer will be... No, same answer. Okay, all right. By the way, Dave, you're now editing all of my videos. <laughs> ah. 
I'll tell you something. If I lived close to and it was easy to get the footage to and from each other, I probably would. Yeah. I, I'm going to be honest. I thought you would have said farewell. No, farewell's your, farewell's yours and dad, yours and your dad's baby. Yeah. That's not some. That's not something I want to get involved in. Yeah, that's fair enough. The only thing I'm doing on farewell is recording the um, achievements and all the co outtakes for the yeah. funny bit. Yeah, I was just about to say you're already like half part of the series, really. Yeah. Because yeah. you're the one that goes through and like... So I think if I was a creator myself, yes, I might get someone to do some editing for me. But if I was doing a Pacific series that meant, had a personal connection to me, I'd do it myself. Yeah. Well, I mentioned before, when you said, oh, you probably love editing them, because that's your baby. I don't edit them. The only thing I edit is the um, montage. Yeah. And that's very much like you were called this... 20 minutes or half hour. And then that's it. You yeah. stop it. There's not much in it. Whereas for some yeah, like what... fun, they are edited to you. Yeah. Well, I want, I want to... I don't edit them just because I want to keep the essence of the, like, 2012 style Let's Plays, which... Is what yeah. got me into Minecraft and is, you know, what got loads of people into Minecraft. Um, I mean, the only things you, I remember you editing from the first series was when you used your train track. Because it's excited yes. on to um, well, get from A to B. We've done that again, but that was just like including a time lapse, really. Yeah, you just edit the, um, born bit of where you're travelling to a destination. Or yeah. back from the destination because it takes too long. Yeah. And not many people want to see that. You might put it or in for one like, oh, video. Okay, right, well, we've got to wait until night time now, and we've got yeah. nothing to do, so we'll just edit this bit out. Because if you say, right, so this is just being reused, people might want to go back to your videos and work out where the end portal was or where something else was. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking... Right, at some point, I could put um, them up for download, but like I'd want to wait until like the whole series is done. Like, yeah, uh, well, like all so, like move them all to bedrock and then just put them onto like. I mean, that might like, be. Um, I think I agree that could be fun to keep going look over the world, and it might yeah, be also have, fun like, to do that when we um, finish build off. Yeah. Well, so I asked you before, through. and you—you, you, I don't know if you got back to me on this. What you, I mentioned about the build off too, didn't I? And I think this is knowledge. If this is the first first time people are hearing of it, then sorry. But uh, build off two. Well, after build off, at some point, we plan on doing an adventure map series, built or building an adventure maps where we've got yeah. twenty minutes to build a level of an adventure map. In terms of like. This week we'll have to build a parkour level, and this week, and overall, the the adventure map will have an overall theme. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And there's like twenty levels, and you got to get through, and then maybe at the end we'll have to like just try and link them all together. But um. Yeah, my my uh, plan is, I asked you what will I? I asked you in this. Um, about doing it on Mario Maker. Super yeah, Mario not, Maker. Can, I've got a couple of issues with that. Okay. One, it's on the switch, and we're not as if we're going to be doing it tomorrow. We won't be starting it for a good few more months. Yeah. And I'm not because I'm on a family membership for the online. Bit. Yeah. I'm not sure if their kids are still using their switches. So yeah. if they're not, they might not renew it when it comes up to expire later in the year. Yeah. Or later to renew it. Which is my concern. So I don't want to start doing something then and we suddenly find out I no longer can get it online. Yeah, that's fair enough. Because come now the days where you'd actually be able to play games online for nothing. 
And I'm just not sure what I'll make of the game, because what frustrates me is you can't get a demo of it just to give yourself an idea. Yeah. Because I watched a couple well, that's, of... Well, that's Nintendo for you. It's not just Nintendo, it's all of them. Is it? Hmm, there's hardly any demos around. I remember they used to be, like, all the rage back in, like... Oh, no, I remember we used to get magazines. I used to subscribe to magazines where you'd get free demo on the cover sheet every month. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it'd give you some idea of what the game's, upcoming game's like. Pretty much, um, once you used to get a fairly rubbish, but at least you knew whether you wanted to buy them or not. Yeah. At least you knew they were crap before buying them. <laughs> yeah, or you'd get some idea. You know, do detailed reviews and everything. Yeah. But then again, even if you did buy a game, then you, it was crap, you didn't waste that much money on that. Yeah. It's just Most like games a then were... weekly thing, and it's like, oh, well, I'll get another one next week. Well, most of them are only about 10 quid or less. All right. It was just there are certain games you got, say like Secret Monkey Island or Monkey Island 2. We had about 12 discs used. Yeah. It's got a bloody nightmare and you had to keep changing them. <laughs> but the beautiful thing was, you could go down the shop Saturday morning. You could get home. And providing there was no fault with the disc, you'd be playing it within a few minutes. Yeah. Not like these days where you've got to wait for everything to update and download. Yeah, it's all a bit sluggish and digital nowadays. Yeah, it's all yeah, bloody hell. I always prefer, like, Right, you know what surprised me? Sorry, this is really rough. Like, when you got the Xbox... When when the Xbox One came out, right? You know what really surprised me? Was the fact that, um... The, um... Like, if you download... If you had a disc, right? And downloaded a game... You had to, like, download the data off the disc... Rather than it just reading the disc. Yeah. You had to download it onto the hard drive of the, the Xbox. Instead of it using the data on the disc, which I still don't get why. Because like, on the 360, it doesn't do that. On the PS3, it doesn't do that. And on the PS4, it doesn't do that. I don't At least on Xbox, you generally can just back the CD in and you're playing away. Yeah. It's... It, it, just on the newer ones, where you put the disc in and it just downloads everything. Yeah. And it says, I've not, congratulations I've not sure on five lines, there, Spider-Man. But... Here's your 60 gig download you have to what, do before you can play it. Yeah. It's like it's on a disc. What, you, you know. Yeah. And, that's, and the one thing that blo bloody annoys me more now than ever is... You buy a game, and it's full of bloody bugs. Yeah. I'm sorry, but it shouldn't be. There's no bloody excuse for it. You should... Hold on, gun sneeze. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. I'm muting it, mate. I'm not that stupid. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I was so waiting. <laughs> It was a false one. Uh, but no, it's just that you get bugs in them. You either delay the release date or you release a playable game. There's no excuse to release a game that's full of bugs. Yeah. It's all right, like, one or two. Hmm. But, like, if, like, oh. the game is broken. Yeah. Like, for example, when Minecraft Bedrock first came out, right, it was completely, like, riddled with every bug imaginable. Yeah. 
like it was like um up until I don't know I don't know whether it went past the base version actually the best. But like Stampy couldn't play on his lovely world because every time he moved it across and tried to load it, it just crashed the mm. game. And like it was a version from like twenty fifteen, which is the one he ended up being able to get working. Which I just think yeah. is a bit, you know, mad personally. Even if companies say let's let's just use Minecraft for argument's sake. Yeah. If they reached out to people saying that we're looking for better tests for the new version of Minecraft, which is due for release in three months. Yeah. Would you be willing to do so? If you do, you get the game for free when it's fully out. Yeah. Or give them some sort of incentive, and people would. And they can come back to you saying, oh, well, we've got this problem, we've got that problem. And then they can go off from that. Obviously, the downside is you're going to get people moaning into that anything. And they're not, there's not much, there's going to be something that there's nothing they can do about it. But the yeah. big things are going to fix people off. Those ones that they need to be fixing. Yeah. So they need to reach out to the likes to people like Stampy play it. So they can fully test and say, well, I've got this problem and I'm trying to update this. It's not working or I'm trying to do this. Yeah. It just keeps bugging. Yeah, it's people in different, like, scenarios. Yeah. The ones that they uh, need to be, like, getting to test and that. Once you will test them, which are like its boundaries. Yeah, yeah. Like general, like general use at home is always going to be way different to like use in a studio yeah. with super fast Wi-Fi. You know, it, things need to be tested at like, you know, just someone's house on an Xbox One with BT. Like, do you get what I mean? You went very mute on me, thanks. I had a phone call. Oh. Um, yeah, I was just going to say, um, it's things need to be tested, to quote myself, uh, on an Xbox One, just round someone's house using BT Network. Like, not in a, uh, not in a studio using, you know, the fastest Wi-Fi and the fastest... You know, state of the art PC, like to get yeah. yeah. So of course it's gonna run with that, but you know, will it run on an Xbox One on BT network? That's the question. Yeah. Yeah. That is the, that is the question that needs to be asked. But yeah. Um, no, I, I agree. They did like the. They need to like hire out like testers and that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, at the same time, like you said, there's, there's going to be some knobhead who goes, Ah, my rest doesn't work because of this, and why don't you do this? And, and you know, thinks it's his job. Yeah. Yeah. Which, in a way, it sort of is, but you know, at the same time, shut up, smart ass. <laughs> Let me for a minute. You are. That's all right. I'm just wondering what you said. But yeah, that's um. Yeah, it's just a bit dodgy when people release a game that's just full of bugs. It's like, yeah, you yeah. could have you could have tested this. Like, I get it if it's in beta, because obviously, like. It's in beta, like they're doing, they're releasing it to the public so people yeah. can game test it and stuff. But you know, if it's a full release game and they're charging full price for it. Yeah, because I was on the um, Epic Games website this morning. Yeah. And I was quite shocked at how much some of the games are being charged now. It's just too good for a game. 
I know, yeah, it's all like epic games are the ones that do that. Well, no, it's is not it epic, epic games. games, I think it's more. No, no, it's more, no um, EA, EA, sorry. I'm EA. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I was getting a bit mixed up. Yeah, EA, uh, they've always charged like way more than normal for games, as well as yeah. Nintendo. And... I mean, I just don't understand why the Switch games are as expensive as they are, even when you go into CEX, the second hand ones are still blinking pricey. I know, yeah. What do you think is your favourite game? Minecraft is probably the only one I play. Fair enough. Minecraft is probably the one of the only ones I play as well. I will admit I don't play yeah. any. Um, but at the same time, I wouldn't say it's my favourite game. But like, I don't know what my favourite game is. Like, yeah. if you ask me now at, at this current minute. I, I'm thinking Journey, right? Because that was just incredible. But at the same time, um, if you ask me, like, you know, this time tomorrow, will it still be Journey? Or is it going to be a different game? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Anyway. Uh, we're going to have to cut this one a bit short, 56 minutes, which is it's all right. It's not, you know, ridiculously short. But I'm going to go now because I need a poo. <laughs> That's good enough reason to finish. Yeah. I'll wrap that up. Before you go, did you speak to your friend about Monty Mole? No, I forgot. Right, no. anyway. Fortunately, this is the end of this podcast. I love that everyone for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, take it to you guys. Bye. Say bye, Dave. Until next week, goodbye. Goodbye.